From all over the world, musicians come to Gil Fisher's Scuttlebutt Lodge to be on The Fishing Musician. Good evening, welcome to the show. I'm Gil Fisher, and of course, this is my dog, Kima. Kima, sit down now. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. <laughs> We're still working on that one. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight, I tell you. I guess you're wondering why I'm wearing the shades. I'll explain that a little later on in the show, and, and this too. <laughs> first things first, let me introduce our guest tonight, the great Carl Perkins. Woo! Woo! And the CP Express. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We went, uh, we went fishing for Arctic char in the Northwest Territories, and we got skunked in more ways than one. I'll tell you more about that a little later on, right after this important message. Now, come on, sit down. Sit, sit down. Try that paw. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Well, welcome back to the Scuttlebutt Lodge, and a big Scuttlebutt hello to Carl Perkins. Woo! <laughs> and the CP Express. Woo! You always got to include the band members, otherwise uh, they get upset if they don't get focus. <laughs> Carl, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Gil. Son, I've been looking forward to coming up here and being with you. Uh, oh, yeah, a few nights ago I was jamming with Wendy O. Williams mm -hmm. and some of the guys from the Tubes. Oh, yeah. And from the Third World. Aren't they great? Oh, and they were knocked out, man, with the time they had up here with you. Really? Oh. oh. <laughs> but I got to apologize. Really, I have seen nor have I ever heard of this show. Never? Never. Well, I guess it's because we're on so late. <laughs> you don't get a chance to watch much late-night television. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of late-night television, but I've never seen you. Never, never, huh? No. Well, be that as it may, <laughs> let's just watch the film clips here and, and uh, see our trip. Uh, and here we are. Uh, well, Carl here always had a hankering for the good taste of Arctic char. And when you want to go for Arctic char, you go to the heart of Arctic char country, the Northwest Territories in Canada. Isn't that right, Carl? That's what I've heard. Carl and the boys were kind of opposed to driving up, but uh, I agreed to take all of them and do all the driving. And I think that's what finally convinced them. And uh, so off we went. And what a beautiful day it was, too. I want to tell you, it was just a great day for driving. And uh, I figured Carl and the boys would like to see some of the nice countryside around here. Uh, nice figuring, Gil. Yeah. And we just drove and drove and drove. Well, we just kept driving. The boys were getting a little crowded. Yeah, but they yeah. were enjoying themselves. And I want to tell you, it was a lot of fun. Here we are uh, the next day. And boy, there's some beautiful country. I, I just want to tell you, this is a beautiful country. Around the end of uh, day two, I was getting a little tired, though. Uh, I just kept drinking coffee, smoking some cigarettes. And, and uh, oh, there's day three here. Uh, oh, one of, I wanted, this is funny. One of, the, one of the guys jumped in the truck. We did get that on film. That's beautiful. That was a real for limousine ride I ever took. Do anything for a laugh, I want to tell you that. Now, I, must, uh, I, I was getting a little tired here around the night of the third day. That's the drunkest driver I ever seen that limousine roofless ride I ever took in my life. It's a terrible truth. Rude. It was a close one, too, I want to tell you that. One well, of the donuts got stuck on the wheel there. And here's some more of that beautiful countryside. You know, you can see so much country. And this must be uh, night of the uh, night of the third, oh. third or fourth day. They all started uh, melting together there. I didn't know what day oh, it was, really. Sure. Everyone was getting a little testy, including myself. I was begging, begging for somebody to take over. But no, Carl said no. Yeah, but it was your idea, Gil. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I know that. Yeah, we realized that Carl only had a week off, and uh, we weren't even halfway there, so we had to turn around. I felt so bad about it, I said I'd treat everybody to a nice meal and a drink, and I, I knew this little spot up there. I was I, I was feeling kind of weird, I, I gotta admit. I, I figured I must have had over 700 cups of coffee and four cartons of cigarettes. I tell you, I, I was just not feeling myself, and I knew if I could just sit. And you know, oh, and there's Willie Nelson, you know, and he said he'd be our guide this trip, and no, he said he had personal problems, and, uh, Boy, that really ticks me off. He just lied to me. He just barefaced lied to me. So we had a couple of beers, and uh, boy, I tell you, it, it really hit me. Uh, it must have been all that coffee. But, you know, the, the thing about it is that, that I don't normally drink, and uh, boy, this was a real tough bar. I, I, I don't think it must have changed hands uh, since I was last here. And there we are, we're having a good, oh, I'm wearing someone's hat there. Uh, boy, I tell you, at this point, uh, it's starting to get a little blurry to me. I can't really remember that much. I think, uh, oh, I can't remember any of this at all. Uh, I think, Carl, you're gonna, oh, I didn't do that. 
I didn't do that. Look, after finishing five boilermakers and a bottle of tequila that the Nazis sent over to you, you started to get friendly with the waitress. Oh, geez, that's, this is real embarrassing. You know, I'm a happily married man. You know, Whitey and I have been married for many years, and oh, 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 oh that's where that came from. Oh, this is, this is very embarrassing to me, Carl. And, and I don't remember you playing there. <laughs> Little wonder with all you drink, man. But you were the one that embarrassed us into getting up there in the first place. Well, what am I looking so mad at? I don't know, man. You just all of a sudden turned mean. Well, why am I talking to the little fella? The best is yet to come, Gil. Oh, this this isn't me at all. Oh, I, oh this is so embarrassing. I, I don't believe I did that. Oh, jeez. This this is just, this is, this is sad. This is downright sad, and I gotta apologize to you. Oh. Now, that, that's, this runs in the family. It's something I've been trying to hide for years. Oh, oh, oh. that's where I got the broken arm. That little guy danced up and down your spine. Man, I was embarrassed to be with you. Oh, I was so drunk. I was look at Willie laughing at me there. Boy, I tell you, it must have been the coffee. I gotta blame the coffee on this, because I'm not normally a, a big drinker. And, uh, I just can't remember, Carl. I, I gotta apologize to you and the, and the whole band. Just embarrassed. I'm just embarrassed. And I guess this is us going home. I don't even remember the trip home. Oh, I tell you. Oh, well, that's a trip I, I won't soon forget. <laughs> forget? And you don't remember half of it. I, I can't apologize enough to you either, Carl. I, I'm so sorry. Fellas, I'm so sorry about that. I, I don't know what came over me. I just got a little uh, rambunctious, I guess, from, from the long drive. But believe me, I paid for it in more ways than one. And, uh, well, could you do me a favor? Could, could you sing your songs so your trip up here won't be in vain? I, I, and I promise you, next time you come up here on the show, we're going to go for Arctic Char, and we're going to fly in this time. You got a deal, Gil. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl Perkins of the CP Express. Woo! Oh. Tennis.
no magic, but I got a long way to go. Carl Perkins! Woo! Two beats rest! Woo! Matt Perkins! Woo! Oh, that was great! Boy, that was a lively song. I love that song. Good singing there. Nice guitar picking. Thank you for being on the show, and I, and I got a little special treat for you here. I got oh, great. 20 pounds Arctic char for each of you. I know how much you love it. This oh. is fresh frozen. I got it at the corner oh, store here. Yeah, oh, you're going to love that. That's good oh, taste. Right. And uh, thanks again for being oh, on the show. And I'm yeah. sorry about everything. I tell you, I don't know how sorry I can get. Don't worry about it, son. I brought these two just for those two beauties there. Oh, and I could use those. Well, well, that's all the time we got. Thanks again, fellas. Until next week, everyone, this is Gil Fisher. For the efficient musician saying good night. My thanks again to Carl Burton and the CP Express.